Deadly Trash, the girl coming to you from my studio. Today's video is a very exciting one. I love crocodilians and today this is the debut of my little baby Paleosuchus palpabrosus. Now I know for sure that this is a palpabrosis because the other genus has a double layer of scales going down the tail and this one appears to only have a singular row so pretty sure. Essentially uh, this is most commonly known as a dwarf caiman or a Cuvier's smooth front caiman, dwarf caiman. Um, I don't know people call them lots of stuff. Cute. Many people call them cute. Um, so this is a South American species. You might have figured from the word dwarf in their name that they are a smaller crocodilian, although they do have the hardest osteoderms to protect them out of all species of crocodilians, which is like the bony ridges on the outside of their skin. Very cool, fun fact. Uh, he does have a small scar on his face, which was just a uh, small wound that he had gotten from some feeding tongs before we got him, but it's just a scar and it healed up perfectly fine. So um, in the wild, these guys grow to be uh, three to five feet. Females usually typically around four feet and males topping out between four and five feet. They are a fairly warm weather animal and they are actually uh, partially land dwelling more so than many species of crocodilians and they actually have been documented spending quite a bit of time on land so that's interesting. They are a fairly solitary species. They have been found in pairs. A breed and the mothers make this fancy little mud nest. Her eggs incubate for 90 days and then she goes back and actually breaks them out of the nest because it actually solidifies into this rock hard formation that the babies cannot typically escape from otherwise. And uh, the eggs are about three inches long, so pretty small for a crocodilian egg. It's often a nest of about 25 eggs. And then these little boogers come out. They communicate through a sight body language, smell, and so the long and short of it is that uh, this is one of the world's cutest animals and I am its mom. So I love this little guy. His name is Bruno and um, he needs a lady friend. So I'm growing him up. He is um, definitely more docile than my more let's crocodiles and I also think he is very beautiful. I will be so happy when the winter ends, this being the very first day of winter, and it's spring and summertime, so he can go outside in his little outdoor pond. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little dwarf came in, and I'll see you guys next time.